What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video for you guys today. This one is going to be a Thursday flipping investment guide type video. Everything that is Thursday flipping will be discussed in this video, ranging from when to buy cards, what to sell them, or when to sell them for. Uh, we're going to talk about maybe some of the buy prices you could be looking at for them, and different market scenarios and kind of like what to look out for really around the market over the next few days. So before we get into it, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Let's hit 100 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. We're close to 8.4K, which is awesome. Make sure you guys get involved with the free train Discord that is in the description. Free train tips in there for you guys. My Twitter and my Instagram will be in there as well. You guys will know when I go live on Twitch and when I upload to YouTube. So let's get involved with this video right now. Obviously, you know, it's a, it's a weird time at the moment with FIFA because I feel like a lot of the market is kind of waiting until we figure out a date for Team of the Year. Now, something to really keep in mind is they have just today, and this is, I think, EA's point of view going into this weekend. They put a weekend league player pick in for each different win total. So you have win 10, you're going to get containing one of three FUT Champions players from Team Week 16 one of four FUD Champions players, and one of five FUD Champions players by winning 22, 16, and 10. So this is their way, I think, of encouraging people to buy teams this Thursday, hence why I think Thursday flipping will work, because people will be buying teams this Thursday. Uh, now, EA, from what, and I'll show you guys right now what the team week looks like. The team week is not great. Now, I believe... They should, they're probably going to juice the team of the week, I would imagine. Um, you might see a Depay, you probably see uh, a Gaia, but who knows? Maybe they bring you a Sancho or a Holland or even both, right? They give both cards and they juice up the team of the team of the week 16 so that your player picks are, are more fulfilling. You'd rather go into weekend league and grind for those picks unless it's a team week like this where I don't even want to do the player pick system if those are going to be the selections. So I think they're going to juice team week a little bit tomorrow to kind of give people uh, the opportunity to pat, you know, do weekend league and buy teams on Thursday. And why would they want you to buy your team on Thursday? Well, you're buying your team at an inflated price because then Friday comes along and they probably bring out a loading screen for team of the year or a team of the year nominees. And that's going to kind of start the downtrend of the market so you can have the market go up up and up and then you see the market get destroyed really um from its high point and so many people lose coins because they're trying to get these casual players um you know playing weekly man they're really trying their best to entice people to play weekly because i think they've seen the numbers i think they've seen that their weekly percentage from the whole community has been on a downward trend over the last few years um, or at least over the last like year, I'd say less people are playing weekly than ever. Every game that I play, I'm playing up against a super sweat, which shows you you're playing somebody that is like, you know, a typical FUT champs player. So, like I said, I think I think Thursday flipping will work. I think a lot of these players that I'm going to mention to you guys in this video could do decent. And I think regardless if they have this couple of different scenarios, if they go up or not, right? Obviously, it's going to depend on uh, overinvestment. That's always a big shout. Uh, it's going to be dependent on when you sell these cards because, again, EA could obviously throw little things in there to stunt the market rise if they really wanted to. I don't see that being a possibility, though, just because of the way that I see their whole week now. So let's get into some of the players you guys could be looking at. Um, and there's a lot of players, actually. We have a good, you know, amount of players here that do well every single Thursday, and this is one of them, man. And, you know, before we get into Renato Sanchez, actually, let me just show you guys. Um, we talked to you guys last week about not buying your Thursday flips on Tuesday and waiting till Wednesday for the content. See what they brought out. Well, good, guess what they brought out? They brought out a Team of the Year teaser video, and then they also brought out the Icon SBC, which drained coins off the market. So there caused a lot of, like, panic on the market. Prices did drop, and then prices did rise uh, on that Thursday pretty nicely. So this one is here for a day and 17 hours. And uh, this one is, wait, did they just, was it going out on Wednesday? I'm not even sure, actually. I thought there was going to be something on Wednesday that they were going to be bringing out. But, you know, I could be wrong on that, actually. I, I, I thought the Icon SBC was 
done on Wednesday. So that's my bad. Um, again, I would probably uh, be banking on the content drop tomorrow just to kind of see what does come out before really buying. Um, so we'll go into Renato Sanchez here. And every single week, man, this guy had a really nice rise last week. This guy went from 235k on his... 230 actually on his low ish uh all the way to like 270 uh he did very well last week i think this guy again if he does get over invested in then he does but this guy's not bad for a thursday flip every single week if you look at his card and let me show you guys uh his card every single week is when you're looking for players you're looking for players that have peaks and values and what do i mean by that up and down up and down up and down because they have a nice rise on thursday and then they have a nice sell-off on the weekend causing a nice trend well if you look at renato sanchez literally every single week this guy goes up on thursday from where he is on that tuesday or wednesday so you guys can really get involved with this renato for me i'm looking in the low 230s i'm looking at like 232 230 something like along those lines i've seen this guy go to 270k so i could see this being uh at 230 ish a decent price uh, another card to look at, by the way, is this Donnarumma, who did pretty good last week. Um, again, he's one of the only Serie A keepers, and he gets Italian links, obviously. Um, I would say just kind of banking on, you know, what you could do on Wednesdays. You buy the cards on the low of their fluctuation, and then all you need for them is to go up a couple thousand coins on the Thursday. This Donnarumma could be decent. Um, he's gone from like 108 all the way to 116, down to 102, up to 117. He's currently down right now, actually, at 109. Uh, so we're going to go take a look at that because, for me, if I find, like, a 105 on this card, I'll actually buy that today. I don't mind it and probably flip it today as well. Uh, but, no, he is currently... Wow, so flipping really is capping here when it comes to this guy's price. Yeah, he's 117 right now. So they are really just baiting me like that, uh, which is unfortunate. Try to get this in, like, the 105 range if you're going to get that on PS. Um, moving on. I do think a certain Dutch icon is going to do well this week. Again, Robin's SBC is going to be expiring, I believe, on Thursday. And that's going to be decent, I think, because people are going to be completing Robin with some of their coins they get from rewards. This would be one of those cards that I'm looking at. He had a really nice rise last week. Uh, and he's actually one of those icons that have been going up every single week. And I'm not going to like give you guys a lot of icons to use for this week because I don't know if they're gonna really go out that much this week just because of what's coming out soon but i do think a guy like rykard could go up if you guys get this in like the 250s this guy fluctuates a lot he's a baby icon he's out of packs right so i would probably look out for like a 255 ish on a uh, fluctuation price on him um and you know moving on to like some of these gold cards as well man um i have a few in mind i don't have a lot uh, I would say Varan, and I would say um, Conte would be one for me. And I might even go like a, a Mane as well. And Oh, and Van Dyke. Van Dyke would be the four golds that I would look at for this week. Uh, the reason why I like Virgil is because of a lot of the Dutch things that we've seen going on. He fits two different brackets. He fits the Dutch, but he also fits the Prem. Which, when we do these Thursday flipping videos, we try to give you guys the best chance at making coins on a certain card. And what we're doing is we're trying to give you guys the cards that have been kind of going up in previous weeks, the cards that most people use, the good nationalities, what is in style right now. Uh, you guys have heard that term before, right? What is in style right now? What is the hot property that people want to go and buy? Well, Dutch, Prem, Virgil van Dijk gets links to the Clivus card or whatever uh, you call them. That right side could be Dutch. Uh, people will be buying Dutch, I think, this weekend. So, I would say Virgil could be somebody that's decent. I'm probably looking at like 204, 203 on this guy. I think for a 90 Virgil, that's not too bad at all. Um, if I'm looking at Conte, he did very well last week too. Uh, and again, you guys can look at these today if you really wanted to. Or you can wait till content drop uh, on Wednesday to see if we do get anything uh, on the Wednesday. You could do either or. Um, I would say with this Conte, you're probably looking around a 210. And for me, that's pretty. Re that's really good. I think for N'Golo Conte and the, and the use that this guy has for the whole base, really, I think 210 is such a good price for him uh, that I would see him rise. And Varane's up a little bit from where he was back on on Sunday. It was Sunday or Monday. I, I, I forget which one which day it was, but he's 162 right now. And let me let me put in mind with you guys as well. If you're looking at gold meta cards for this week, right, Varane is up from like 155 to 163. 
what you should be looking at on these cards is the blue version. Uh, that is something that you guys can use to sell cards for lazy buyers better. Um, you can uh, list them probably a little, you know, even higher. They'll probably rise a little bit more than where their gold card is. Uh, and it, you know, if somebody lists up the blue card for the price of the gold, pick that up, right? That would be something that you guys should be picking up because you could see a nice price upgrade uh, update on Thursday with them. So those are kind of some of the gold medals that I'm looking at this week. Not to say that a guy like Rashford or Paul Pogba is not going to go up. But in re in recent weeks, they've always been kind of getting over-invested in and just not really rising too much. So I'd stay away from those. You could obviously invest if you want to. Um, some of the informs and specials that I'm looking at, right? We talked about Renato. Alan St. Maximin is another one, right? If you find St. Maximin in like the 280s, um, you know, that would be decent for me. He went from like 293 last week. Or 290 all the way to like 310 or something like that. So he did decent. Uh, and what you're looking for is a guy that is uh, low on his fluctuation. So we'll just go through a couple, right? So for example, you see this. And look at this. Peaks and valleys, right? Every single week. He's going down on Sunday and Monday. Up on Thursday and Friday. Down on thir Sunday and Monday. Up again on uh, Thursday and Friday. And this again, right? He went from... Uh, and he was lower on Wednesday. It was like 290. He went all the way up to 318 by the Friday morning. Um, another card that I'd be looking at is this Timo Werner card. And he likes to fluctuate a lot because he's a pass in form. Uh, and he did go up a little bit last week as well. He went from 235 to 243. Again, no. You guys could have got that Timo Werner in like the high 220s on, th on Wednesday. And sold him for the mid 240s on Thursday. So you look at right here. He's 225 multiple times a day. You're trying to find like a 210-ish. That's where he goes to multiple times. 210 to 215 would be max price to buy that card at. Uh, and like I said, the the team league is not looking great. You know, it's Valen, it's Royce, it's Depay. It's something crazy there. And I think Depay also, you know, something to look out for too on the Wednesday is if Depay doesn't get in the team of the week, I would expect that the 85 card um, or the 86, I forget what rating he actually is. But the 86 to Pi card, to do decent, uh, very, very good for me would be this card if you bought this. Again, it's a Dutch link. If he does get an inform, he's going to he's gonna do very well. I would, if you guys could find this in like the 100k and under, if he does get an inform, he'll go up a decent amount on Thursday. Going back to another special card, uh, you can look at like Wilfred Zaha. You can look at Valverde. Valverde had a very nice rise last week. Um, he went from like 190 all the way up to like 210. Again, you could have gotten him at like the 180 range. Even I think 170 he might have went down to uh, on, you know, last Wednesday. So this would be another card for me. I'd probably look at this guy at low 180s uh, for a nice little rise. I think the market that's under 300k is going to do the best this week. I don't see people going out and buying the top tier stuff yet. Because I think people are waiting for what's going to be happening, uh, obviously, this weekend. Um... If you got this Ederson card here, again, John Stones, I think is somebody that people still are going to use maybe a little bit. Again, he goes to 119 multiple times a day. Try to find this guy like a 107 to 110. I would like that. And guys, for the people that are on Xbox that always ask me in the comment section, please give me a price on Xbox to look at. Well, you're going to be relative to what you've got, you know, what your card is selling for on the market. So if I take off the PS price here, right, he goes from like 126 multiple times. I don't know how he hit a 93, uh, and then he goes back to 128. So pretty much buying this guy anywhere under 120 would be a buy price for me uh, on this car, especially since he was 140 uh, on, you know, last Friday. Uh, more cards to be looking at. Let's go back and uh, let's talk about, uh, is there anybody on this page I haven't looked at? No, we got to go to the second page. The second page, we can look at a few cards. This Info uh, Lorente card um, every single week, you know, has been doing decent. Uh, let me actually put the PS price here. Um, let's do that. Sorry about this, guys. So you get look, peaks and values, right? Recently, this guy's been dropping off during the week, going up on Thursdays and Fridays. Based on his current uh, graph, 160 for this card, pretty good. Um, has a hit under 160, I don't think, at all. So again, if I can go on the market right now, and again, you can buy this card today. You can buy it tomorrow, you know, tomorrow on, on Wednesday, but it depends on what kind of price you buy, uh, you buy the card at. So yeah, currently right now this guy is like once he's up a lot right now. Some of this market's up because it's rare, and I think a lot of people are looking to invest at the moment. So I would look at Lorente. Another card I'd be looking at as well. Every single week, this first inform Lozano goes up. 
and I would be on the lookout for Lozano special cards this week because his headliner card is back extinct. Now, what that does is if people can't find his headliner card, or even if it's headliner card, in my opinion, if it's, um, and I'm going to go buy that at 57, by the way, if I can, um, that headliner card, if he's like maybe 500k plus, I expect the past special cards for Lozano to rise on Thursday because I think it's an alternative, right? People would rather uh, buy the 83 or the 85 or even the 86 over the the live version just for this weekend, right? It's not a long term. Um, it's not a long term buy for a team. They're buying these cards for this weekend's purposes, so they'll make the rational decision to probably buy the pass in forms and i would i would say the same thing goes with a guy like umakano this week a guy that has dropped a little bit in price uh cards like this man right making the decision whether or not you think that you know buying this guy maybe not the low 100s is a better option for your team compared to buying you know the headliner card that's probably 250 to 300k right now so there's a lot of looks on the market this weekend um hope you guys did learn a bit for this video uh obviously like i said i'm gonna wait for the content on wednesday to see what we do get i would also mention you guys if you want to play it safe you can sell them before 6 p.m on thursday if you're kind of scared of team of your nominees maybe dropped early or whatever remember if you guys do sell early you have to understand that the market could rise even further up in the nighttime if we don't get that much content if you guys want to take the risk you could sell later on the nighttime but again, it is based on what EA might do with the market. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.